What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video, we've got Zor's location and inventory. So roll the intro and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so Zor is at the reef, down in the little door area, as you can see right here. Fingers crossed he's got something good. Now, let's have a look for this weekend. Well, we've got some alright stuff. Let's start out with this mighty beastly pulse rifle. Red Death. Now this beast, as you can see, each kill heals you and speeds up reloads. Now this thing is pretty freaking cool. It deals kinetic damage, it's got accurized ballistics, field choke and aggressive ballistics, it's got unflinching snapshot over caliber rounds and single point sling. Its main perk, which is called Red Death, each kill heals you and speeds up reloads, is pretty freaking awesome. This thing actually is pretty crazy. As you can see, it has got White Witch as a uh, ornament, as well as Steel Witch. Both of these are unavailable at the moment, but they are there. So, that's pretty freaking cool. I like it. Hopefully you guys like it. Go ahead and pick Red Death up for 23 Strange Coins. It is a beast. But we've got some armor for this week. Now, the Warlock. We've got the Helmet, the Ram. Now this thing is a discipline and strength roll of 40 and 44, maxed out at 59 and 63. Other than looking aesthetically pleasing, this thing has the perk Strength of the Ram. Increase armor and all Void Walker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. This thing is honestly really freaking cool in PvP and PvE. I use it in both and sometimes you can trick quite a few different people. Its secondary perks are Inverse Shadow, Second Thoughts and Infusion. All very good perks. I like this helmet. Go ahead and pick it up if you haven't got it. It is 13 Strange Coins for the Ram. Your Warlock's going to love you. Honestly, go ahead and pick it up. Next up though, we've got the Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter. Pure Discipline Roll of 72, maxed out at 89. Now the main perk on this is called Field Trap. Increase Trip Mine Grenade Duration and gain an additional Trip Mine Grenade Charge. Which I honestly think these things are actually really overpowered. I, uh, I use them kind of a fair bit. A lot of the times I do feel like I'm cheating. However, they are really awesome in PvE. Secondary perks are Fastball Impact Induction. You've got Auto Rifle Loader as well as Fusion Rifle Loader. Pretty freaking cool. 13 Strange Coins for your Hunter. Go ahead and pick it up if you haven't got it. Next up though, we've got the Tarkanaut. Now this thing is for your Titan. It is an intellect and strength roll of 46 and 41, maxed out at 65 and 60. Now the main perk on this, free, pretty freaking cool. We've got air traffic control. All rocket launchers gain tracking. Radar remains visible while zooming with heavy weapons and heavy ammo drops more often. This thing by itself is honestly pretty crazy. Rocket launchers actually gain the ability to have tracking. So if you've got grenades and horseshoes on your actual rocket launcher with tripod, you can put this thing on as a Titan and you'll also have tracking. Pretty freaking awesome. You get your radar. I love this thing. A lot of people don't actually use it too often. I myself use it a lot in PvP. Next up though, we've got Ashes to Assets, Heavy Lifting and Inveration or Innovation. I always get that one wrong. That's pretty cool. Not the greatest rolls, but the helmet by itself is pretty beastly. 13 Strange Coins for your Titan's helmet. Go ahead and pick it up if you haven't got it. Finally though, we've got a Legacy Engram. A Body Armor Engram is only going to decrypt into a Year 1 Legacy Engram with Year 1 Legacy Rolls and all the Year 1 Legacy good stuff. It is 29 Strange Coins, only pick it up if you are a collector or you want to get a chest that's available in the kiosk for Year 2 slash 3. Yeah, it's uh, pretty expensive. Go ahead and buy it if you actually have the spare Strange Coins. 
Next up though, we've got weapon ornaments, we've got Shock Hazard. Now this is for the Zalo Supercell, 25 strange coins, allows the Zalo to look pretty freaking crazy. We've also got Queen's Command, this is for the Telesto, it makes it Telesto completely purple, vibrantly purple if you will, a lot like the actual Queen's colours, it's, it's pretty beastly. I like this thing, I ended up getting it first actual package I opened hopefully other people have it if you haven't got it go ahead and pick it up 25 silver dust both of these are pretty expensive for silver dust they should be reduced to I honestly think 10 maybe 5 I don't know anyway next up we've got curios we've got plasma drive and we got emerald coil drive both of these are 23 strange coins used to upgrade your rare sparrows into those legendary sparrows if you like that kind of thing We've got three heavy ammo synthesis for one strange coin. We've got some three of coins, five three of coins for seven strange coins. And we've also got glass needles, three glass needles for three strange coins, three motes of light and one exotic shard. All these are pretty viable at the moment for myself. I have quite a few glass needles on me just so I can actually reroll exotics. I've got probably about 400 and something strange coins just so I can actually buy three of coins and uh, yeah max out on those and then I've got the strange coins on me at the moment to buy heavy ammo synthesis so then I can actually level up my faction and uh, yeah you guys will see that in a video coming up very soon but finally we've got material exchange one mode of light for two strange coins that is Zor's inventory for the weekend. This has been Zach Novak. Come down to the reef, check him out, get some of the good stuff, get some of the loots, get some of the gears. If you don't, just get some, I don't know, three of coins. I myself am going to pick up a hell of a lot of them. But yes, this has been Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. And I will be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sheeran. Share this video around because it seriously helps the channel out. It helps me out and helps you guys out. You get to see my content more often. And yeah, it gives me that incentive to actually do more content. But once again, this is Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sheeran. But this is Zach Novak, signing off, peace out.